Hello everybody, this is Ryan from my blog is on iBrothers97 and welcome to a new Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to create this. This is a iPhone application icon. So, um, first step is go to File, New and create a new document. 800 pixels by 800 pixels, resolution 72. Okay, press OK. Then what you're going to do Go to the rounded rectangle tool, then set it, the radius to 100 pixels and uh, just draw a rounded rectangle. Hold shift to make sure it's a square and let go. Now I'm going to set the colour to 337 three, three, um, DC1. I like this colour, it's cool. So yeah, um once you've got this, create a new layer and rename it main colour. Now go to your uh gradient tool, make sure your foreground is set to white and your background is black, then go sorry, then go to this, select foreground to transparent and just create that something like that keep doing it until you're happy with it um, I'm gonna do it about there yeah I'm happy with that okay now go to the elliptical tool and create a uh, circle or an ellipse and then move it to about there Yeah, about there. That's cool. that's cool. Right, right click, select inverse, and then click delete. And as you can see, it has failed. Let me try this again. Sorry. Go back to your gradient tool. Make sure it comes down a lot more than it did when I did it first. That was a fail last attempt. <sighs> That should work. Go back to the elliptical ellipse, ellipse. Right click, select the inverse, and delete. Sorry, and delete. Yeah, that looks fine. There you go. As you can see, it's made like a glossy effect. All right, next, what you're going to do is create a new layer and name this Top Glow. Go back to the gradient tool, make sure the top glow is selected and make sure it's on linear and just do the same thing basically at the top like this so it makes like a nice white layer bit. That's all you have to do now, go create another layer, bottom glow. And make sure it's linear. Uh, just create one going upwards like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. And put it to overlay. And the opacity down to about 60. I put it 66 because it just looks cool. So... Because it's a big and high resolution icon, we're going to create an edge. So first go and control click or command click the shape to create like an outline. Then go to select, modify and contract by 20 pixels, press OK. Then create a new layer and name it edge. Right. Once you've created this layer, go to uh, edit stroke 10 pixels color white center press ok and there you have it um, make it overlay and uh, that's fine now create a vector mask over that layer I'll make sure you've deselected this or it will somehow go small so create a vector mask 
go to your gradient tool, reflected gradient. And do what I just did then. And pull it down. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm Ryan Baruki and thanks for watching. Peace.